Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you how to do an idle relearn procedure without a scan tool, and I'll do this on my 2009 8th generation Honda Civic. This should be done whenever your car's idle is low, erratic, maybe it stalls, or almost stalls when you turn on the AC. You should also do a throttle body cleaning at this time. If you need to know how to clean your throttle body, I do have a video on this, which I'll link in the description and at the end of the video. I'll start this video by removing the negative battery cable. Let's get started. Before you remove the negative cable, if you have a theft lock radio, make sure you have that code. Otherwise, you'll be going down to Honda and paying them to unlock your radio. So just make sure you have that before you remove this cable. Now I'm gonna keep this cable off for about 15 minutes. What that's gonna do is it's gonna erase all the memory out of the ECM. So when we do our relearn, we can start from scratch. Then I'll come back and I'll go ahead and reconnect that battery and we'll start our procedure. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and reconnect our battery cable and then we'll just get this procedure started. So let's get started with the idle learn procedure. You want to make sure all your electrical components are off. No fans, no air conditioning, and no lights. Then take your ignition key, turn it to the run position, but don't start it. Leave it there for two seconds. Then go ahead and start the vehicle. Move the RPMs up to 3000 RPM, and you'll leave it there until the fans cycle on and off two different times. Once they do, you can bring it back down to idle, and then you're just gonna let it idle for 10 minutes. And then once that 10 minutes is up, Go ahead and shut the key off and your idle learn procedure is finished. Let's go ahead and do that now. There's two seconds. One, two, start it. Now we're gonna bring the idle to 3000 RPMs. Right at 3,000 right now, and I'm just going to hold it until those fans um, get up to cycle on and off. That will indicate that it's in operating temperature. So this will probably take about seven minutes. And I can watch the temperature gauge too, that'll kind of get me close. My temperature gauge is starting to climb. I still think it has a long way to go though. All right, so my fans just came on. And now they went off. So that's my first cycle. All right, my fan just came on again. And now they went off, that's my second tight cycle. Now I'm gonna bring it down to idle. And you can hear them, they're already on. And they just went off again. So now I'm just gonna let the engine idle for 10 minutes. Right now it's 12.30 at 12.40, 12.45, I'll go ahead and uh, shut the engine off and my idle learn should be complete. All right, so I'm right at about the 12 minute mark. My idle seems to be idling pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the key off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle. A 
I'm going to turn on the AC. I'm going to put it in gear. Put it back in the park. Shut the AC off. Everything seems to be working good. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.